This is a special report from About Space Today. From Florida's Kennedy Space Center is Don Meyer. Last December, NASA's Johnson Space Center Facebook page posed this question. When you're strapped in your seat in a Soyuz spacecraft, you might not feel the difference right away when you become weightless. Do you know how the Russian vehicle crew members know when they've reached zero gravity? Do you know? The answer is they have a zero gravity indicator. Now, you may wonder what that high tech indicator is. Let me tell you that it is still the same type of indicator that the first man in space, Soviet era cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, had on board his Vostok spacecraft in 1961 and continues with the SpaceX flights now. So what is this amazing indicator? <laughs> well, it's generally a small toy, often a plushie. Yes, really. Gagarin launched with a small doll on board his craft. And in the decades since then, Russian cosmonauts, international crew members, and now SpaceX astronauts have often flown small toys to serve as a visual cue for microgravity, weightlessness. The stuffed animal or toy is sometimes a sentimental item given to a crew member by their children, other family members, or friends. Sometimes the animal is picked as a group mascot to represent the crew or the mission. The little fluffs are hung above the astronauts and cosmonauts inside the spacecraft and provide a significant function by indicating to the strapped-in crew members when deceleration has stopped and they are in microgravity called weightlessness. So beginning with Gagarin's doll, other indicators have included such additions as an owl, Christmas elf, R2-D2, a red angry bird, a hippopotamus, Olaf the snowman, a raccoon, models of spacecraft, and a dragon. The recent SpaceX editions were Earthy, the Earth doll, flown aboard the Demo-1 flight in March of 2019, and the latest zero-gravity indicator, flown aboard the Demo-1 flight in May of 2020, was Tremor the Dinosaur. Bob Behnken introduced the stowaway zero-gravity indicator from the Demo-2 during an illustration of weightlessness. Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome aboard Endeavour, the uh, SpaceX vehicle headed to the International Space Station. Uh, it is a little bit of a tight quarters, uh, but I'm going to uh, try to uh, demonstrate some of the capability that we have now that we're in zero gravity. So I think I was requested to do a backflip. I'm going to kind of do a side spin, which is a little bit of a permutation on that request. So hopefully you can see what it's like to actually float in zero gravity. And uh, Doug and I are super excited that we got the opportunity to do this again today, uh, even before the end of May. So that was super cool. We did. It, in, it turns out end up with one stowaway on board our uh, vehicle when we launched today. It was not uh, uh, just Doug and I who uh, accomplished the launch here. We do have a, an Apatosaurus aboard. We both have two boys uh, who are super interested in dinosaurs. And uh, we collected up all the dinosaurs between the two houses, and Trimmer, the Apatosaurus, uh, got the vote from the boys to make the trip into space today with us. And so that uh, was a super cool thing for us to get a chance to do for both of our sons, who I, I hope are super excited to see uh, their toys floating around with us on board. I'm sure they would rather be here uh, given the opportunity, but hopefully they're proud of this as well. The zero gravity indicator toys continue to be a fun and practical spaceflight tradition. What will the Crew-1 zero gravity indicator be? We'll just have to wait and see. From the Kennedy Space Center on NASA Space Coast, this is Dawn Meyer for About Space Today. This has been a special report from About Space Today.